Okay, so the next place I'm going to go is my video page because um, we've all got at least one video to embed on there. So uh, if I go down to my video page from the top left hand corner where my menus are, how am I going to include videos? Well, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. One way would be to actually um, create video blog posts and embed those but I don't know if that's the best way I'm going to do it a different way which is maybe a little simpler but also gives me a bit more control over the way my page looks so I'm going to add an element and the element I'm going to look for is video and I've got single video players so um this is where you need to choose. You've got video upload, YouTube, Vimeo, etc. But your videos are on YouTube. So I'm going to drag that over. And here I have a, um, a box with my video. Uh, the problem is it's some random video uh, of a plane flying overhead, which is definitely not what we want. Uh, so we need to change that video. Obviously, you're going to need to know what the url for your video is so find your video on youtube uh, where you uploaded it and copy the video link um, and i'm going to put up an interview with oh, so many pages here uh, absolute tab madness so i'm going to change my video uh, by clicking on the change video button and adding the url uh, so here I have a video, and this is Neon Interviews, Nadia Whittam, MP. Um, so anyone landing on this page is going to see that. The issue is that I need to make sure everything fits together nicely. Uh, and I might end up, I hopefully will end up, you should end up with multiple videos on this page. Um, so let's try just grabbing another video off YouTube, like literally anything. Let's take a bit. Like a good beagle. So I'm going to search beagle. Do's and don'ts of owning a beagle. That'll do. Among the friendliest dogs around. They're so cute. Okay, so uh, I'll click here. I'll add an element, single video player, YouTube, and then I will change the URL there. So as ever, it's defaulted to the plane overhead. I wonder why they chose a plane overhead. So I need to click on change video, put in my URL. There we go. Okay, so I can add multiple videos like this, but that's just gonna create quite a sort of messy tedious looking page um also i feel like i don't want the videos to be quite this close to each other so i might make it a bit smaller i'm going to bring this one down to 460 so if you look at the top there it says width 460 and same obviously i want them to be the same size that one's 460 as well so yeah, because um, I just feel like once I start putting writing on, I'm going to need a little bit more space. Okay, so um, let's click on add an element and add the simplest possible element, which is just text. Uh, maybe I'll go for a title, right? A uh, small title here. And I'll drag that down underneath, make it a bit bigger. Um, and call this interview with Nadia Whitam MP. Uh, great, I can make that bigger if I feel like it needs to be, etc. You know, it is you've always got those choices available to you. Fairly simple stuff. And then um, I might add a brief description. Oh, I've gone to the completely wrong place. Ignore me. Um, Boom. Uh, so add elements, text, and then just paragraphs, just a basic paragraph like that. 
where I can add a description of what this video is about. So this is basically how I can lay out a video page quite quickly with a couple of videos on it. Um, and let's have a look at my, um, here's one I did earlier. So I'll go to site actions and view live site. And my video page looks something like this. Anyone who lands on it can start clicking. 